segment is sponsored by the Ridge Cottonwood. We are here at the Ridge Cottonwood, one of our favorite places to visit, especially during the holidays. We are making a lovely toffee recipe that Raven's going to get started on. I'm here with Raven and Christine. We've got our lovely residents behind us. Thanks so much for you know letting us be here with you guys today. You Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Of course. Okay, so the holidays are so magical. What kind of activities do you have here at the Ridge Cottonwood for your residents? Well, as you can see, we do a lot of festive things. We do baking. We decorate sugar cookies. We go on Christmas light bus rides um, so they can see the Christmas Christmas lights. We try. We had a Christmas party last night with Santa Claus, and the grandkids got pictures. We do Christmas movies with cookies and hot chocolate, and just all kinds of different. We actually partner with youth groups, and the youth groups come in and they've seen Christmas carols with them. Lots of entertainment. So we just try to keep it really busy and festive. That's so fun. Now, how do you keep the families involved and updated with all the activities? Well, we have this application called Life Loop that the families can see the activities and see what's on the daily calendar, the monthly calendar, and they can actually check the family's participation to make sure they're coming. We can send them pictures through Life Loop so they can actually see their loved one in the activities. So it keeps them really engaged and busy. We can also send out communications like to the Christmas party last night that they could come and bring their kids and loved ones. So we had a really good turnout out for that and it's all a lot to do with being able to communicate through the life loop app sure that's amazing that you can do that you definitely want to involve families and raven oh, yeah. traditions are so popular to continue how do you support that here so we have rooms that you could reserve up to like 50 people in a room if you want to do your own christmas party here so you can come celebrate christmas with grandpa and grandma here at the community um, we have lots of rooms to reserve we do baking like i'm doing right now we're making an english toffee recipe from one of our residents so we just do a lot of things to keep up the traditions of family and residents here at the Ridge. Oh, that's so important. That's awesome you guys are doing that. Now we're going to switch out right now and Jan and Barbara are going to step in and we're going to continue because this is their recipe. You guys, yes. thanks so much. <laughs> Happy Christmas! We are here with the stars now, Barbara and Jan. Now this is their special recipe of this toffee. This is the after result. It looks delicious. We have hungry residents waiting behind us to have a taste. Jan, how special is this that you have made this for your kids? and kept the tradition going for Christmas. Well, they just kind of expect it, you know, <laughs> even though I don't want to make it, because it's, <laughs> it's work to make it and have it turn out right. How special so, was it for you having this growing up? It was really special because all my aunts and uncles always came over to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a great time. And it's really nice to come here and have her recreate the recipe that we all ate all the time. Well, and I hear that your mom made many other treats also growing up. Jen, what are some other ones that you did? Oh, well, I made the divinity. I did mm. divinity. And oatmeal cookies was for my husband. That was his favorite. And uh, what other kind of cookie did I make? You made fudge. Butter. You made... <laughs> I made a lot of candy. Keeping those traditions going, which you can still do here at the Ridge at Cottonwood. We're going to cut this up in just a minute and have a bite. What has it meant to you to have your mom here? It has meant a lot because I know that she's safe and secure and we can always come see her. Okay, any time of day, day or night. Which means the most happy and safe. Well, happy holidays to you both. You. Let's continue to make uh, this toffee and maybe invite me over next time too and I'll have, I'll, I'll partake. Hey, it's a Good. Christmas party. <laughs> happy holidays to you both. Okay. Thank you.